Hello, and welcome to another episode of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and today we're going to be installing part number SEAT-2011 on this 2013 EasyGo TXT. Now let's take a look at what comes with your kit and the tools we're going to need for this installation. Included with our kit, we have our main seatbelt bracket, four retractable seatbelts, four seatbelt receivers, and our bags of hardware. Now that we've taken a look at our parts, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need for our installation. We have a cordless drill, a small drill bit for drilling pilot holes, a step bit, a straight edge, a round file and a hole punch, two 17 millimeter wrenches, and a black paint pen. The paint pen is optional. So before we get started with this installation, I do want to note that this is a universal kit. So the way that we're showing you how to mount this today is not the only way to do it. There are several different ways to do it. But before we get started, we want to make sure that we cover up the body with a piece of cardboard or a towel or something just so we don't mark up our body. Probably the hardest part of this installation is figuring out where we are going to mount our seatbelt bracket. Now, the only things you want to keep in mind are that you want the arms on the bracket to face forward and at an upward angle. Other than that, you can really mount this thing wherever you want. We'll show you how we're going to do it. All right, so we're going to mount our seatbelt bracket to our seat kit seat back brackets, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So this is about where we're going to have our seatbelt bracket. Notice how my arms are facing forward and at an upward angle, and we want to make sure that we have enough clearance in the back for our seatbelt receivers here. So now that we've figured out where our seatbelt bracket is going to go, it's time to mark our holes with our hole punch. So what we're going to do, we're just going to line this up, make sure that it's centered, and use our hole punch to mark where we're going to drill our holes in the seat back brackets. We're going to take a straight edge and transfer the hole to the back of the seat back brackets. This will allow us a little bit easier access when we're drilling our holes. Now that our hole locations are marked, we're going to use a small drill bit to drill some pilot holes, and then after that, we're going to use our step bit to widen out the hole to accommodate the hardware that comes with your kit. All right, so I'm going to take a second here to file down any of the burrs on the holes, and then after I'm done that, I'm going to take a paint pen and paint the inside of the holes to keep those holes from rusting in the future. Now that our holes are drilled and our paint is dry, we're going to go ahead and attach the bracket to our cart. Now, we're only going to hand tighten it at this time. Now that our seatbelt bracket is loosely attached to the cart, we're going to add the second seatbelt bracket. And we're just going to hand tighten this at this time. Now that our second bracket is attached, we can go ahead and attach our seat belts and our seatbelt receivers. As we're attaching our seatbelt receivers here in the middle, we want to make sure that the receivers are facing the correct way. So the press button is facing the inside of the cart. And after that, as we're threading it through our bracket, the powder coating on this might make it a little tight. So we might have to either thread the bolt through like so, or you can file it out with a round file. Again, when installing your seatbelt receivers, you want to make sure that the press button is facing the inside of the cart. And like I said before, you might have to thread the bolt through due to powder coating. Now that everything is loosely installed, we can go back through and tighten down all of our hardware. Now, for the seatbelt receivers, you want to make sure that you don't tighten those too much as you still want them to move a little bit after they're tightened down. Now that we've gone back through and tightened down all of our hardware, that completes the installation for part number SEAT-2011. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage, and I'll see you next time.